Today, we will be talking about five important things you should know before using Midjourney. Let's get started. The first thing you need is a Discord account. It's a free app that you can download on your computer or phone. Once you have a Discord account, you can go to midjourney.com and click on Join Beta. They will then send you an invite to join their official server on Discord. All you have to do is accept the terms and services and you're in. Midjourney has three plans, a $10 plan, $30 plan, and a $60 plan. The $10 a month basic plan grants you limited generations, around 200 image generations per month. The $30 a month standard plan grants you unlimited generations and 15 hours of fast generations, which basically means how much time it takes to generate your images. And the $60 a month pro plan grants you unlimited generations and 30 hours of fast generations, plus stealth image generation. Stealth image generations means no one else in the community will be able to see the images that you are generating. With any other plan, people do see your images because this is an open community server. Next on the list is the slash settings feature of Midjourney. To access it, all you have to do is type slash settings, click enter, and a box will appear on the screen. Inside the box, you will see different versions of Midjourney like version 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which you can obviously choose from. There's also something called Niji mode, which is for anime lovers. When you're generating, you can choose the quality level from half, base, or high quality. By default, the quality will be set to base, but you can change it to high quality if you'd like. Next, we have the stylization setting, which enables Midjourney to make your creations more creative. By default, it's set to medium, which means your creation will have a normal style. But if you want your creation to have a more unique style, you can increase the stylization setting. You can set it to low for a subtle change or very high for a big change. This can give you some really cool results. If you have the basic or standard plan of Midjourney, you can only use the public mode. This means that your creations will be visible to other people. But if you want to keep your creations private, you need the $60 Pro plan. With that plan, you can use the stealth mode option to make your creations only visible to you. Next up is the remix mode. Turning it on will generate new variations of the photo every time you click on one of the buttons on the bottom row that has V. Clicking the button will bring up a pop-up where you can add or delete certain information from the prompt before submitting it. If you turn it off, it will create variations using the same prompt without showing the pop-up. Lastly is Fast Mode. Fast Mode is a feature that you get when you purchase either the Standard Plan for $30 or the Pro Plan for $60. As the name suggests, Fast Mode is for generating images quickly, which I mentioned earlier. It's ideal if you plan on generating many images in one session. The third thing we need to know is how to generate images. To do this, you first need to type in the command slash imagine and then type in whatever image you want to create. For example, you can create a dinosaur floating in space or a cute fox eating popcorn in a movie theater. You could create a capybara wearing a suit riding the London Underground or a person looking at a dimensional portal. The possibilities are endless. To help generate the best results, it's a good idea to divide your prompt into three different parts. We have a prompt here that we're going to use to create an image, but before we do that, let me explain to you what the first part of the prompt is. The first part is defining your scene. What exactly do you want Midjourney to create? And then you can start to add details, and you can be as detailed as you'd like. Some examples might include what kind of lighting style you want. I'll just go with the soft light. You can choose what style of art you want. I'll just go with anime. You can add that you want it to be very detailed, use saturated colors, choose the camera lens, add any colors or emotions. The list goes on forever. Number four is the parameters. Parameters are options added to a prompt that change how an image generates. Examples of common parameters include aspect ratios where you would type dash dash AR one by one would be the default mode, which is just a square image, dash dash AR one by two, which would be portrait mode, then dash dash AR two by one will be landscape mode. Another parameter is which version of Midjourney you want. You would type dash dash v5 for version 5, dash dash v4 for version 4, and so on. And the last one I'll show you is the no parameter, which is negative prompting. This means you can remove parts from an image. For example, you would write dash dash no flowers if you wanted to remove flowers from the image. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this prompt with this description and these parameters and see what it comes up with. Okay, so here's the result it gave us. It looks pretty great to me. So if I really like image two right here, I can just click U2 right here to upscale it. And check out how amazing this art looks here that we just created. 
If I wanted variations of image 3, I could just click V3 right here. And you can see here the different variations it created for us. And if I just want Mid Journey to try again with the same prompt, I can click this button which will regenerate the prompt for me, and there you go. Check these out. Now lastly, if you are having trouble figuring out what exactly you want to create or what kind of art style you would like, you can go to the Mid Journey website and click on Explore to browse through what other people have generated. You can then click on any image you like and copy exactly what they wrote for their prompt and slightly change things up to fit with what you want to specifically create. So I hope this information was useful and that you now have more confidence when using Mid Journey. If you'd like to take things to the next level, click this video here to learn how to create prompts using ChatGPT and then place those prompts into Midjourney to create beautiful looking images. Until next time.